of an empty room. This is going to be our nursery. And we have a bit of work to do. And uh, I mean, it could have been worse because I was going to paint the walls, even though it was kind of stupid. I don't know if you can tell by the camera or if the color's off, but it's like, it's actually, it's Benjamin Moore Healing Aloe. It's like a very pale green. Um, so I just decided to keep it and to do like just pink accents only because I don't have time to paint nor do I want to paint. <laughs> so there's a lot to get done because I'll show you in a minute, but we have radiators because this is a very old house. So I have to measure the radiators. I have to order covers for that. And then I have like this window bench here and I want to get a cushion for that. We have to get curtains. But the biggest thing was we weren't sure if this house had not been tube lighting because it's like over a hundred years old. And we plan to take out a loan to finally have the knob and tube replaced on the second floor, which is this floor. Um, we knew that it had been replaced on the main floor, but we were not sure if it was still knob and tube up on the second floor and having a child up here, we didn't want like, you know, a house fire <laughs> or anything like that. So we had the electrician come and he said that because some of these outlets are grounded, that it's not knob and tube, but he's still gonna come and add some grounded outlets like in our bedroom and he's gonna put a ceiling light in because there's no ceiling light here. So that's gonna be done soon. And here's the, here's the problem. <laughs> so this guy, he's really nice, but he takes a while to like set a date and to like come actually do stuff. And I really wanna get these closets done because the paint, I'll show you in a second, but the paint color is like puke green and it's probably paint from like 1950 because when we moved in here, it was still like old wallpaper. And the shelves on here are wretched. And there's two closets, so I want to do one for like clothes and one for like toy shelves. It's kind of stupid. I think this was supposed to be the master bedroom because there's two closets and our bedroom has only one closet and is really small, so we have a closet room. But it's a weird shape, so it's like too claustrophobic for like a king size bed. Anyway. I went back and forth between like, should I switch bedrooms? I'm already out of breath. Anyway, so <laughs> I hope this makes sense. My brain, my husband went out to get um, tape because we have to tape down the tarp because we have to rip down these shelves. But during the process of like planning this out yesterday and emptying the closets, I realized there's like a loose dangling wire like on the top. And well, I want to wallpaper in the closets just to make like brighter and that little wire is, is ruining my plans. And I didn't want to snip it, but I know that's dumb. So I have to wait for the electrician. I can show you real quick. How am I gonna do this? So this is the ugly closet that we have to rip up tonight. So if you can see like, it's a really, I don't know what they were thinking with this shelf design, but I'm gonna patch up some of this eventually like when I paint in here. Cause the thing is, is when Googling about how to go about this. I read that before you put peel and stick wallpaper, you should kind of prime the walls. I don't know if that's true. I don't even know what this stuff is. It came with the house. So the goal today though, is to get all this ripped out. Then I'm gonna have to plaster. Then we're gonna have to wash the walls. Then I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint to prime or not. We'll figure that out. But then I'm putting this wallpaper as like pink and green floral. And then the difficult part is going to be sanding this sh shiz. Um, look how gross it is. And I guess that little white tube thing is the grounded wire, which is good that we have grounded wire in here. But up here, there is like this mystery wire and it goes into the wall there. But let's see if I can flip this around. You might not be able to see. But it's just dangling over there. I also have to fix this. See this? I had horrible, when we first moved in, I hired a friend of my dad's to paint because I was just like overwhelmed with moving in and stuff. And they did such a bad job. Like you have no idea the bad job they did. That I'll just touch up, I'll sand and paint it. But the real bad job they did was in the hall. They didn't use like a 
oil-based paint. So if you see all that paint started like chipping or in the light and falling down because the bathroom is right there, is very old and doesn't have a vent. So it's always falling and like my OCD, that drives me insane. But I try to ignore it and pretend it's not there. <laughs> so whatever. So then we have to do this one, which is not as bad. Like I said, I'm gonna have to paint, sand the baseboards, wash all the walls. We're gonna have to remove this and then paint and prime. That's the game plan. Yeah. 
20. Oh, from, from like on the shelf? Yeah. What year is that one from? Can you see it? I'm trying to blow my thing up. Let's see, imagine we get rich off of that. 1959! Wow. These are all pennies from 1959. That's such an unattractive one. You know what's kind of funny if you think about it? What? This room is forever the green room. Like, look at it. The, the color that they originally picked for this room was like this weird green. Yeah. We picked, but we picked a similar green, but not the same. This is more ugly green. That's true. Can we start taking this wood outside so we have more room for it? No. No? I want to finish because there's only a few more left. This is dangerous. So now we have to redo the paper. Because otherwise, remember what happened? We did this in the dining room, what, two years ago? And we were doing the ceiling, and nothing came off the it's still I'm still mopping it off the floors. So before it gets worse, I'm going to clean that off the floor. Because, let me see if you can see it. That's very, that's going to get very bad. So I'm going to get rid of all that and remove that paper because it's getting under the paper. Wash it, and then we're just gonna tape the whole floor so, because the dust is coming this way too. I'm anal about it only because what happened last time. And then we were doing the ceiling and we were sanding the ceiling. We didn't have enough, we didn't have any tarp on the floor and then all the plaster got on the floor. And then that I taped up more. See how I taped it? So there's no seals. There was little cracks in the paper. So, so I just want to make sure it didn't get under there and then we'll retape everything really good and then we'll extend it all the way. Well, we're not going to make much more plaster messes after this. Oh, yeah, we are. From what? Because I have to spackle all of those holes and then and you, have you have to go in with the sander. Okay. That's why I'm trying to think, might as well just get everything really sealed now so that that part is going to create more dust than this is. That was a great lot of Exactly. That was really kind of hectic, and we didn't finish getting everything out of the closets because, if you can see, we like papered the floor down, and you might think this is excessive, but we had an issue like a couple years ago um, where 
my husband's fish tank <laughs> like overfilled and like went through the floor and we had to like kind of fix the ceilings a bit. And when we were standing, we didn't put enough tarp down and the drywall plaster got like everywhere, everywhere. And because it was everywhere, it got wedged into the floors and it's still kind of stuck in there. Like even when I mop every time, like little white pieces come up. So when we were doing that, this is the up, the whole upstairs of our house is all plaster walls. Like these are old school plaster. So when we rip stuff like that off, it leaves like a lot of dust. So we put the paper down originally just in there thinking it would be enough, but it got like everywhere. So I didn't want it to get worse. So we took it all out, um, kind of like vacuum mop like you saw, put it all back. And now we got most out of that closet. But the problem is, is there's like a wire that's running across the top and we don't know if it's active or not. And we want to put that wallpaper up, which is going to be really hard with that wire. So my husband just ran to the store to get chicken because I'm going to make dinner. But he's going to try to like cut the wire. There, the electrical wires attached to like this wood beam with like metal wire. So he's going to try to cut the wire just so it can dangle so we can get that wood off. Take the wood off of, I don't know if you can see it, that second closet, there's just a little bit in there. And then next weekend our goal is to plaster, sand, and I've never done wallpaper before, so I'm not really sure like if you're supposed to paint it first, it's a mess in there. But we're gonna have the wallpaper in there, we have to get the radiator covers, new curtains, this is gonna be a pretty, <laughs> pretty uh, busy couple weeks, I should say months, because it's right before the holidays too. And it's like, I wanna get as much done as I can before the holidays, but just realistically, it's not gonna happen. I don't know. But that's that for now. Um, as for baby, um, so far I had our early anatomy scan. We had that on, oh my God, when did we have that? October 7th or October 8th. And I was super, super nervous about that because it was my 17 week scan and the pregnancy we had previously, which we ended up unfortunately losing. Um, it was actually, how can I explain this in case you're new here? Basically when things, when we got a bad NIPT test and the baby tested high risk for triple D, whatever, all that. We ended up going to see an MFM and that MFM doctor said, and this was supposed to be 14 weeks pregnant at this time. And the MFM doctor said, no, you're 12 weeks pregnant. You're measuring 12 weeks. So maybe that's why your NIPT was like wrong. And lo and behold, <laughs> the baby was measuring 12 weeks but it wasn't a dating issue. The baby was actually 14 weeks, but measuring 12 weeks because it was triple E. Anyway, so at that appointment, which he said the baby's measuring 12 weeks, he said, I want to schedule you for an early anatomy scan just to basically make sure we're right with the dating. So he scheduled it for what he considered to be 17 weeks, but in reality, I was 19 weeks, if that makes sense. So based on my last menstrual cycle, and my last ovulation, I was 19 weeks, but because when I went in at 14 weeks, I was measuring 12 weeks, he assumed that this dating scan, I'd be 17 weeks. And at that 17 week scan, um, I measured 17 weeks. So he was like, oh, it must be right with the dating. But then there was all sorts of things wrong with the baby that showed at that scan. So for this pregnancy, he had me come in for a 17 week scan, early anatomy scan. So I had like so much anxiety because it's like deja vu almost. It's like, and you don't expect to have it until like you basically like come to that moment. But it's amazing how much anxiety would just hit me that whole week because it was like deja vu. It was like, oh my God, the 17 weeks scan. Uh, but luckily, thank God, everything was measuring good. They had two kidneys. She was measuring a couple days ahead. Her brain looked good, her heart looked good. So now they're having me come in for my 20 week scan on November 4th. And then I'll have my fetal echo a couple weeks after that. But at least, you know, if you have a good early anatomy scan, 
the chance of having a good anatomy scan are higher, so that's a good thing. Um, but man, I was like so full of nerves. I'm still full of nerves. <laughs> but at least after that, I was able to start like planning, you know, the nursery and stuff. So that's what we're working on now. I'm, I'm thinking of uploading this in like stages just so it's easier because it's gonna be so much and then you can see a start and finish. But here, I'll bring the camera over so you can see exactly what we did. So if you can see in here, this is a mess. This is the wire that's like, we don't know if it's active or not but that's really gonna be a pain in the butt, like putting it in wallpaper. So my husband, like I said, has to detach it from the wood, remove that wood, remove that wood. And then this closet is pretty much done. And this closet, we just wanna do like, maybe like four shelves, probably three shelves, like one starting where that big line is, like the top shelf one there and one there just so like when they're a kid they could put their toys in there when they're adult they could like makeup in there whatever um but they want to fold sweaters or whatever and then this one we're just going to do a top shelf with a rack and a bottom shelf with a rack so all the clothes can go in there you know like shirts pants jeans then i plan on putting the dresser this is the plan right here Hopefully, if it's there. This will be the radiator cover, the radiator cover. The crib is gonna go right here, and then the little rocker chair right there, hopefully. That is, that is the goal. And then I'm trying to get a window seat made for this. I'm getting a pretty, <laughs> pretty big bump. I feel like it's big. It's probably not, I'm gonna get a lot bigger, but it just it feels big right now. I don't feel any movement or anything yet, but the bump is bumping and the bump feels big. And I will be 19 weeks on Tuesday. And I think my 20 week scan is at 21 weeks. So that is that. I'm excited about the closets. I love the idea of having wallpaper in them. Just like make it cutesy and fresh. I wasn't gonna keep them the way they are now. I mean, they're gross. They have not been done since the 60s, that's, that's for sure. Oh, and on top of that, my closet in my bedroom is just like these closets and it's a mess, so I wanted to redo that closet too. So we're trying to fit that in, only because like I need to be able to have my stuff organized. I feel like when you live in an old house and you don't have a lot of closets, it's like really hard to get stuff organized. And like I said, I think this was supposed to be the master bedroom because there's two closets. Problem is, is these two, even if this was our master bedroom, our, our king size bed would like would be the only thing you'd be able to fit in here. And both our clothes, I don't think would fit in here anyway, because in the closet room, we have our clothes hanging, but then you need to have like a dresser for like bras and underwear and all this stuff. So we, where would we put everything? So we just have our bedroom over there because it's, we like all the light that comes in and then we have this small little room that's like a nine by nine as our closet room. I don't know. We make it work. It works for us. But that's that. We got this tape down. I'm going to stop documenting this for now, mainly because when my husband comes home, he's going to be ripping the rest of this out and I'm going to be cooking chicken. So we're going to be doing our separate things. That's it for this video. I just wanted to like, you know, give you guys an update of what we're doing to get started. Next time you see me, we will probably be plastering and sanding. It's gonna be, a, this whole nursery is gonna be a multi-step thing. We didn't even bought any furniture or anything yet. Um, so this will be a little journey. <laughs> so hopefully it goes well. But I'm gonna get cooking and until next time, I will catch you guys later. So bye.